Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the time period of July 15th to July 31st, 2019. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for subscribing to Amani's Light Work, okay? Please excuse the delay on your readings. I am super busy with work, so I wanted to make sure that I made time for you guys, okay? So let's see what's happening with you for the second half of the month. Because mm, I heard them, I heard them talking about something. So this could be a message that could be associated to a conversation happening in the workplace, or a conversation happening in the family, etc. But let's see who or what the conversation is about. All right, Aquarius, sign of Virgo underneath with the hermit energy. If it's not the sign of Virgo only, then it's just hermit energy. But I get workplace. So when I said hermit energy, it's just hermit energy to your workplace. But I get chaotic. So something may be really chaotic in the workplace or literally is a Virgo that is communicating to you. Something is chaotic in the home. Something is chaotic in the workplace. Something is, whatever it is, is chaotic. But they talk a lot. So when I said when I said something is chaotic, they talk a lot. So it's a they. So if it's a Virgo, literally you're dealing with a Virgo, it's something is chaotic with the Virgo. <laughs> Do they think you're chaotic? Maybe you need to have a conversation with them to see what's going on with them. But I, when I said when I said they need to have a conversation with you needing to figure out what's going on with you, it's maybe they they may feel like something chaotic is going on with you, but I get your personal life. So a Virgo feels like something is chaotic with your personal life. If it's not, this is really interesting. This is like this is kind of like a side conversation happening about personal life. This is a side conversation that's happening either about your personal life or about a Virgo's personal life at the wrong time. So when I hit Virgo, you're having a conversation with a Virgo about about having personal personal life conversations either in the workplace or when I said work, when I hit workplace, I get bad timing. So you're having a really deep personal conversation with a Virgo at the wrong time in the workplace, but I get when the supervisor is watching. So a supervisor may be watching you converse with a Virgo at the wrong time. I get about another coworker. So you may be talking, you may be talking to a Virgo at the wrong time about another an external coworker that you I, that you think can work better. So you you're, you're talking with a Virgo, you're talking with a Virgo about how you think an external co co coworker could work better, or something's going on with their with work ethic and things of that nature. But I get theirs. So when I said their work ethic and things of that nature. Something's going on with the Virgo's work ethic, but they're complaining about someone else's work ethic. So this is really interesting. So the Virgo, the Virgo energy is trying to complain to you about their work, about somebody else external in the workplace's work ethic, but it's really them. But something is going on with their work ethic and not whoever and not the anonymous person that they're coming to you and complaining to you for. So if it's not workplace energy, then you're just having a conversation with this person at the wrong time, or the supervisor is watching, or you're in the house with them and you're having a weird conversation but overheard so when i sit in the house with them you you overheard them having a weird conversation on the phone or they they saw you do something or, or stop watching as well so when i say they saw you do something i get stopped watching as well so th this energy spies on you this energy may spy on you and they may see everything that you, they may see and observe a lot that you're doing in the workplace vice versa or in the home or in the house where, wherever there is a virgo <laughs> so let's see what's going on this but the the way they they are with you is hermit energy because because you don't know what to do with them vice versa it just depends on the energy that's coming through okay 
Your starting point has the Three of Pentacles energy there, but trying to work with. So Three of Pentacles energy is trying to work with Virgo. Virgo is Earth sign energy with Three of Pentacles energy being in the starting point. Why won't she stop complaining as well? So you don't understand why a Virgo female won't stop complaining. Could be a Virgo male. Buy it dishes when I said Virgo male. So something's going on. Something is going on. Either a Virgo, either a Virgo male is complaining to you about dishes, or you're complaining. You're complaining, or a Virgo female is coming to a Virgo female is coming to you and complaining about somebody else in the workplace. Could be another external or sign. Could be Capricorn. Could be another. Could be a, a Taurus in the workplace. But they like Capricorn. So when I get when I hit Taurus, they like the Capricorn in the house. Taurus likes Capricorn in the house. <laughs> Taurus likes the Capricorn in the workplace. But this overheard that conversation. So you. You okay? This is really interesting. This is like either you're conversing. Okay, you're you're conversing with a Taurus liking Capricorn. You're conversing with a, you're conversing with a Virgo about the fact that a Taurus likes Capricorn in the workplace, in the house, wherever the setting is, or but or something is, or some like, something is weird about that to you, or something is making you uncomfortable about that as well. The Three of Pentacles energy being, but I like her. So when I say the Three of Pentacles energy, you you like the Capricorn, you like the Virgo female. If it's a Virgo female, not really. You, you don't really like a Virgo female for some reason. Something, something may be annoying or I, some, I almost said ag. So I just something maybe aggravating about the Virgo female. Mm, they exaggerate things. So a Virgo female exaggerates things, but something something is going on here with a Taurus and a Capricorn energy. Mm, Capricorn female, Capricorn male. Mm, I like them. So you like a Capricorn male and female energy, but not checking for you as well. So a Capricorn female and male did not check in for you, but you may use something mystically to get them to check for you, <laughs> like check for you, like want you want them to notice you, want them pay, you want them to pay attention to you, but they like each other so both capricorn male and female energies they like each other they're not sure about a virgo so a capricorn male and female are not sure about a virgo for some reason you have information about a capricorn male and female energy be not being sure about a virgo for some reason mm, but she needs to leave so when i said virgo the, a virgo needs to leave mm, this is this is interesting so if it workplace di dynamics of a workplace so something is really interesting about the dynamics of a workplace something may be really interesting about the dynamics of a house a home environment but that's where something is happening. So when I said workplace and home and, and workplace dynamic, home dynamic, that's where something is happening. But Taurus keeps looking at. So when I said something keeps happening, a Taurus keeps looking at. Does the Taurus keep looking at you? <laughs> or the Taurus keeps looking at a Capricorn. But Capricorn male in the Capricorn male in the way. So a Taurus is a Taurus is trying to look at a Capricorn, but a Capricorn female. <laughs> or a, the, but a, they deem, but a Taurus element deems the Taurus element deems a Capricorn male energy to be in the way for some reason. But that's what you heard. So you heard, okay, a Taurus, a Taurus male is trying to look at a Capricorn female, but they deem a Capricorn male energy to be in the way. And that's what a Virgo told you. So that's what a Virgo told you. Mm. So this feels like workplace liking. This feels like house people liking each other in the house, whatever reason, with the three of pentacles energy being the starting point, but how to get them out the way. So when I said three of pentacles energy being in the starting point, the how to get them out the way, how to get Capricorn male out the way, how to get Virgo female, Virgo male, how to, like, stop listening. How, when I said Virgo female and Virgo male, you're trying to figure out how to get those elements to stop listening. Mm, but it feels like workplace stuff, but coworkers like each other. So it's a workplace environment where coworkers like each other, but but there's certain coworkers that are in the way of your liking with someone. Capcorn male when I said that. So you like a Capricorn male or you deem a Capricorn male to be blocking a Capricorn female that you like or someone's going on with a Taurus liking a Capricorn female in home or in a workplace whatever. but that's what they talk to you about so a Taurus talks to you about that on the side a Virgo may have overheard that but that could that could be what the Virgo energies with S that could be what the Virgo energies are that could be what they're annoyed by mm, but they want that favoritism so a Virgo female male energy they want that favoritism that a Taurus is giving Capricorns with an S or just Capricorn female male energy there or a Taurus deems Capricorn male to be in the way of a Capricorn female. It just depends on what's going on. Or you, you like Capricorn energies with S. You deem Virgo elements to be in the way. Or Taurus deems you to be in the way with the, Cap, with the Capricorns with an S with three of Pentacles energy being in the starting point. That could be the Hermit energy. That could be multiple people like each other in the workplace. But that could be what's aggravating you in the workplace because you don't know where you stand with Earth signs. You don't know where you stand with the Earth signs because some of them are some of them are complaining about the, some of them are complaining to you about others and then and then there's another half where you like some of them but you want some of them out the way so you get to the rest of them so it just depends on what's going on with the three of pentacles energy being in the starting point hmm very interesting 
Oh, K and one's energy is in the waiting position, but I need help from. So K and one's energy could be your supervisor. K and one's could be a friend, someone that you work with, whatever it is, with the K and one's energy being in your waiting position. But how can they help? So the K and one's is typically a Leo, but it can be any fire sign male. But how can they help manage something? So you need a K and one's energy to manage something in the workplace by it liking something going on with liking. Like you like this person or you think that they can help you. You think that they can help you manage some type of liking that you have with the earth sign energies, but there's a not sure. So they may not be sure how to help you. They may not be sure on how to help you the way you want them to help you for some reason in the workplace, but get Virgos out the way. So you want the key and wants energy to help you get Virgo out the way for some reason. Mm -hmm. They they may not really want to do that or or they do you feel they they may feel like you're taking them they may feel like you're taking them away from a, from their main responsibility or something. Like they feel like you're trying to take them away from a responsibility that they already have. Why do you keep asking me? So the key and wants energy like why do you keep asking me something? Thing. Why do you keep asking me something? Whatever it is, I keep getting how to get Virgo out the way. So th this energy doesn't understand. Either, either you, either you go into Three of Pentacles with the King of Wands energy, how to get Virgo out the way. So the Three of Pentacles with the King of Wands energy is how to get a Virgo out the way. Whatever our sign, how to get a Virgo out the way, whatever it is, but they don't want to help with that. So they don't want to help with that. But the sees you as an annoyance as well. So the key and wands energy in the workplace, whatever the setting is here, it feels like a workplace setting or a home setting, whatever it is, you make money at home, whatever, or somehow they manage something that you do at home, whatever it is, or whatever the job is or the environment is, they dom they they dominate that environment. So when I said that, this energy dominates that environment, but they, they feel like you're you're pulling them, you're intentionally pulling them away from their from their own responsibilities to talk to a Virgo. So they feel they feel like you're pulling them away from their responsibilities to talk to a Virgo in the workplace. But she's annoying. So when I said Virgo, but she's annoying. So you 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 talk to this person about a Virgo, something that's annoying about the Virgo for some reason, but complaining about nothing. So the Virgo is complaining about nothing. You know, that could be what this person is telling you that the, the Virgo is complaining about nothing, whatever it is, but I like Capricorn. So you're telling this energy that you like Capricorn, but the, the Capricorn energy may be tied to the Virgos or the Virgo talks about the Capricorn. That's what's annoying this person. So the Virgo talks about the Capricorns with S, but that's what's annoying the King of Wands energy. Mm, that could be what's annoying you. You could be embodying King of Wands energy and that could be what's annoying you as well mm, because you have to go, You, the, if you're embodying King of Wands energy, is because you have to keep moving around in different places all the time because of a Virgo's needs. So you, you, if you're embodying King One's energy, it's because it's because people are asking you to move around in different places because of a Virgo's needs. Mm. Why won't she get herself together? So you're trying to figure out why a Virgo won't get why a Virgo won't get themselves together. If it's not a Virgo, it could be whatever Earth sign. Why the Earth sign? Not really. When I said whatever Earth sign, not really the other Earth sign. More so the Virgo, whatever it is trying to pin an issue on someone else. So a Virgo, Virgos. A Virgo female male, they're trying to pin issues on someone else in the home, in the workplace, whatever it is. That's what you're talking to this person about. But but they feel they just feel like you shouldn't get in. The, you, they feel like you should not get yourself stuck in the middle of that situation in the workplace by keep getting chaotic workplace. So when I hit workplace, something is chaotic with the something is chaotic about the workplace. You're trying to ask another. You're trying to ask another coworker, calm a Virgo down. They the Virgo keeps complaining about someone or whatever the situation is there. Mm. But what is wrong with them? So when I said the Virgo keep the Virgo keeps complaining about someone, then what is wrong with them? Well, the King of Wands and Three of Pentacles energy there. Mm, but I don't want to keep doing this. So the Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands is I don't want to keep doing this. You don't want to, whatever it is that somebody keeps asking you to do, whatever the situation is that I get spied. So someone may be asking you to spy on someone all the time. The King of Wands energy may be asking you to do something interesting in the workplace as well, but spy on Capricorn. So the King of Wands energy may be asking you to spy on a Capricorn. For some reason, they're asking you to spy on a Capricorn. Hmm. See what they're doing with a Virgo to see what the see understand what the Virgos are, the Virgos are complaining about in the workplace in the home whatever the setting is hmm, very interesting. The present has the Emperor sign of Aries if you or a Taurus that's why I said Aries Taurus elements being here you know what I mean really likes Capricorn so Aries Taurus elements or just a Taurus they really like a Capricorn energy hmm, that's what the King of Wands energy said heard whatever relayed to you that's what the King of Wands energy said if it's a Leo that's what a Leo said whatever it is. 
but why do they like? So you're conversing with a Leo about the fact that a Taurus likes Capricorn energy, but can't understand that. So you yourself may not understand that, or a Leo may not understand that in the workplace for a reason, but Taurus is hell bent when I said that. So a Taurus may be really hell bent about something. Hmm. Something's really interesting here. Something's wrong with switching jobs or, or, or trying to get, well, this is really interesting. That someone's going with switching jobs or or trying to give someone trying to give someone like demote someone or something or trying to switch like positions in the workplace that's that could be what the Taurus is trying to do the tour that could be what the emperor the Taurus and aries whatever that could be what the Taurus is trying to do to be closer to capricorn so that's what a Taurus is trying to do to be closer to a capricorn and that could be what you're talking to a king and wants energy about but they don't understand why the Taurus wants to do that so the Taurus doesn't understand I mean, not a Taurus. The King of Wands, if it's a Leo or Aries element, they they mean those elements in the workplace, in the home, whatever, the family, they don't understand, they don't understand the way a Taurus is trying to be closer to the Capricorn for whatever reason. But I want to be with her. So I want to work with her, whatever it is. You, 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 you notice that a Taurus or whatever, you notice that a Taurus element is trying to do that, but want them out the way. You notice that a Taurus is trying to do that, so you want them out the way. That could be what you're conversing with a king and wants energy about, but can I have their position? So when I say conversing with a king and wants energy about, can I have their position or can I take on their responsibility? You, this energy could be your supervisor, but but the reason as to why you're doing that is to become closer closer to so cute. You, the reason why you're doing that is so you can become closer to someone that's cute or you're on the outside looking in to that's what a Taurus is trying to swap jobs with you. So you're on the outside looking into that's what a Taurus is trying to do with you. You're trying, they're trying to swap jobs with you. They're trying to swap whatever whatever the setting is here. They're trying to get you to switch positions so so that you could be with so that you so that they could be with someone that you already have your eyes on. This could be a situation here in the workplace where bribing positions. So it feels like this is a situation in the workplace where like you 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 may like your position but the really hot co-worker so you may like your position but you have a really hot co-worker but the position that you have doesn't really allow you to be really the position that you have in a workplace doesn't really allow you to be close whatever proximity of close is like doesn't really allow you to be close to someone that's really good looking in the workplace so you're trying to ask your supervisor you know can i switch out with someone who does have that position to that that they're close to someone that i like whatever it is the boss is catching on to you trying to do that as well so your boss is catching on to you trying to do that this energy what some energy over here may be trying to do that with you but i didn't see so the king wands energy may be trying to do that with you conversing with virgo so this element if they're trying to do that with you that you're conversing with a Virgo about doing that with you, but I feel more so you're a, or, or you're not also getting into a Taurus is trying to do that with a supervisor. A Taurus is trying to do that with a supervisor so they can be closer to Capricorns with an S or just one Capricorn energy. Or you want the Taurus out the way, you want their position. So you want the Taurus out the way because you want their position. And a Virgo notices that you're having those kind of conversations with the King Wands energy on how to get Virgo out the way because observing everything because the Virgo observes everything. They observe every tactic that you're trying to use to be close to Capricorn energies or they they're talking to you about that on the side about that's what a Taurus element is trying to do that's what a Taurus is talking to supervisors about about switching positions so they can be closer to someone in the workplace in the home in the family whatever it is but this is strange when I said that so when I said that this is strange so when I ran through those scenarios this is strange the Kim wants if it's Leo they deem it is strange Aries males Aries male Aries male Leo male they deem it as strange but the Taurus is the one that's orchestrating the situation because what they're doing is strange. So the Taurus is the one that's orchestrating the situations. <laughs> but whatever it is that they're doing, it's strange to you. Mm. To be closer to someone in the workplace, in the home, whatever it is. This could be a situation here as well where like if it was in a home setting, wants to change rooms. <laughs> like if someone's gone in a, in a home setting where someone wants to change rooms in a home or in a family or or they want to be, whatever, somebody could be have, trying to figure out tactics to be closer to our mom or our dad, but something is strange about that for some reason to someone. Mm. But it's just the way someone is trying to do it, trying to go through, I get step parents, trying to go through step parents, <laughs> trying to bribe step parents to be closer to someone, whatever, to try to be close to a sibling, trying to live with a sibling, 
sibling, whatever it is, something isn't gonna work. So when I said trying to live with a sibling, something may not something may not work with trying to live with with a sibling, or you're on the outside look, you're on the outside looking into that's what a Taurus is trying to do, or that's what Taurus is talking to you about. That they're trying the way a Taurus is trying to get their sibling to live with them, or or move their sibling somewhere, or live be near a sibling, whatever it is. Mm, or but it feels more so like workplace stuff where where coworkers are trying to like this is like trying to get this is like trying to talk to the supervisor and trying to help the supervisor and say you know can i move my desk so i could be closer to so and so whatever every time i say that i get tours so so either something is annoying in the workplace about being near someone in the workplace or, or you heard that or that's what a virgo is complaining about and changing desks changing rooms switching rooms whatever the situation is there but someone thinks that something may be better for a room setting or or to work better or to, to whatever a view of someone in the workplace someone a Taurus every time I say that when I said a better view of someone in the workplace Taurus is trying to do that mm, and you don't understand or you notice that they're trying to do that and you're trying to safeguard your spot whatever it is this could be a situation here where a Taurus is trying to a Taurus is trying to take your desk that you have in a workplace or or a woman or a guy that you like in the workplace a taurus is eyeballing aries whatever or, or all these males they like someone in the workplace but you have your you're a male you're a female these could be males that really like you they're trying to get closer to you or something or they're conversing with you about how to be closer to someone else in the workplace but it's annoying you so something is really annoying about that to you for some reason okay the future has the Leo card, strength card in the future. Your instincts has the two of swords energy there. There's your energy there. But I get workplace. So two of swords is not knowing what to do. I keep getting chaotic and out of control and trying to figure out how to manage a workplace properly for some reason, but in the office. So when I said managing a workplace properly, I get something that's really interesting more so in a specific office in an office, whatever it is. Some of the, with the Taurus, with the Aries, with the Leo, but they want to move. <laughs> what is it Taurus, Aries, Leo? They want to move. They they want to change offices. They want to change floors, be closer to Capricorn. <laughs> they're trying to figure out ways. Either they're discussing with you on how to do this. <laughs> they're discussing with you on how to do this, or you're discussing with them on how to do this. But the way you're doing it, if you're doing it yourself, that's what you're talking to a Leo about and they can't understand. Or you're talking to a Virgo, you're talking to a Virgo, but they keep complaining. You're talking to a Virgo about it, but they keep complaining all the time to the supervisor or you you're talking to them and but they can't understand or or you don't understand why they're complaining all the time and that they're the ones that are coming to you about asking to move places but farther away from Taurus. so that when i said they want to be farther away from Taurus for some reason Mm. This is really oh i see what's going on here mm. they if it's a virgo energy they want to be for <coughs> in a home, in a workplace, whatever. They want, they're talking to you about being farther away, vice versa. They, they're talking to you about being farther away from whatever earth sign. They're talking to you about being farther away from a Taurus, or, but they keep looking at, so when I said being farther away from the Taurus, but they keep looking at someone, they keep looking at the Capricorn energies, whatever it is, but that's what the Virgo is talking to you about. But the, the, they're coming to you in the arrangement. They're coming to you and they're trying to throw out an arrangement of some kind like they they want to move their desk or they want to move their room but it's because the reason for that but the Taurus keep Taurus keeps looking at Capricorn the reason for that is because the Taurus keeps looking at the Capricorn all the time are you looking at the Capricorn energy all the time annoying the earth signs you're, you're looking at the Capricorn energies all the time and it's annoying the Virgos it's an it's annoying the Taurus elements but the only reason why it's annoying the Taurus is because Virgo sees the only reason why it's annoying the Taurus is because the secretive plan the only reason why it's annoying the Taurus is because the Taurus has a secretive plan in the workplace in the home whatever it is to be closer to someone but you don't you don't want that so that's what you're talking to a Virgo about or that's what that's what you're trying to say petty that's what you're trying to say to that, that is going on petty with the Virgo, with the Taurus, come and look at the Capricorn all the time, but they're envious. So when I said that, they're, they're envious of that or something. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. With the Taurus, Taurus being an instinct. The Taurus, Taurus energy, Taurus and Virgo. The Taurus, Taurus energy, you don't know what to do with the Taurus and the Virgo, or you don't know what to do with the Capricorn energy, but people are looking at. So you don't know what to do with the Capricorn. Either, either, the, either people are looking at the Capricorn energy in, negative, in a negative way, or in a positive way, but Taurus really likes them. So the, in, in a positive way, but the Taurus really likes them. But the Virgo, th this is like, okay, I'm going to break it down this way. So this is like an office setting where 
this is like an office setting where a Capricorn and a Virgo like they work together, but the Taurus, the Taurus may like the Capricorn energy, but annoying Virgo. So the Taurus may like the Capricorn energy and it's annoying the Virgo, but from the beginning, you don't understand why it's annoying the Virgo for, for whatever reason, it's annoying the Virgo. So the Virgo is coming to you and ask, can you, can you find another arrangement, another room or uh, whatever, another office that, that we can move to, that she can move to so that Taurus will have to look at, so look at them. <laughs> so that the Taurus will look at them. This could be a situation where the, where the Virgo does like the Taurus, but but the Taurus isn't looking. The Taurus is not looking at the Virgo. The, the Taurus is trying to look at the Capricorn energies. That's why the, the Virgo is complaining to you. But they want the attention. The Virgo is complaining to you because they want the attention that the Taurus is giving the Capricorn energies with an S. Mm, whatever it is, but something is, that's why the Virgo was annoyed, and you, you're trying to, you're, you're annoyed by the needs that the Virgo has, hence the reason for why the King of Wands energy is getting into, why the King of Wands energy feels that like they need to intervene, but doesn't understand what's happening, so the King of Wands just does not understand what's happening in home, they don't understand what's happening in the workplace, they don't understand what's happening, period. Hmm. Why Virgo's complaining? But why Virgo wants to move? Why Virgo wants to separate someone so they can have someone so they can have Taurus looking at so they so like they can have a Taurus looking at them or so the Taurus won't buy ball the Capricorn whatever it is. Hmm. That's why I said the Taurus element having secret plans to be closer to the Capricorns with an S or to be closer to the Earth sign energies. Period. Virgo doesn't want that. So when I said Taurus trying to be closer to the Earth sign energies, period, uh, the Virgo energy doesn't want that. Hmm. The Virgo energy doesn't want that. So you're conversing with a higher up. You're conversing with the King Wands energy of some type of higher up. If it's a Leo, they're a higher up of some kind. You're conversing with them on, on making arrangements on how to switch people. But Taurus acts. So you're talking to the King Wands energy because of a Taurus needs as well. Because of a Virgo's needs. But it all has to do with the Capricorn energy. Hmm. Well... Being closer to, being farther away, management. Being closer to someone in a, in a workplace, liking liking someone in a workplace. <laughs> having, having, this is like coworkers are really hell bent about being near coworkers, either for good or bad, they don't want to be, good or bad, they want to be near, or they do, they want to be, or they do not want to be near someone in the workplace. Or it has something to do with liking and, and liking someone in the workplace and sitting near someone, being trying to switch jobs in the workplace so that certain people can be closer to certain people. Mm, that's why some, to a swords, that's why someone's chaotic and workplace mm. and you're talking to the king of wands energy about that but they something is oblivious with them because they don't understand the needs of a virgo they don't understand the needs of a virgo they may they don't understand you conversing with them also about the needs of a taurus they may not understand the needs of a taurus as well mm. well Whew. the accomplishment has the moon card sign of pisces it could be dealing with pisces elements here or it's just intuition right next to the three of pentacles energy earth signs so you use your intuition about the earth signs but something is petty so when it uses your intuition that what that's why i said the something is petty with the virgos with an s or something is petty period <laughs> something is petty with the with the virgo elements or taurus needs something may be really interesting uh, you use your intuition oh i see what's going on here uh you use your intuition about a taurus's need that they have have in a workplace hmm but do you not want to work with me anymore so why is it Taurus needs in the workplace you're trying to feel you're trying to understand if a Taurus wants to work with you anymore or be with you with you anymore see with you anymore live with you anymore you're, you're using your intuition that they're trying to leave you use your intuition that the Taurus is trying to leave or the Virgo is trying to separate from Capricorn you use your intuition that the Virgo is trying to separate from the Capricorn whatever it is, the Taurus intervening with that. So the intuition card is that a Taurus is intervening with that, but splitting something. So the Taurus intervening is that the Taurus is trying to help you. The Taurus intervening is that you need a Taurus's element help to intervene with some need that a Capricorn and a Virgo has, or some type of need that a Virgo has with you or a Taurus, whatever it is, but keep looking at. So when I said need a Taurus, they, they keep looking at someone, but it's for some reason it's petty to you because this is, this is, this is really Really interesting situation this is like this is like this is like a capricorn this is like the capricorn energies with s this shares something with a virgo or to share something with a taurus whatever it is but the taurus wants to the taurus would rather switch places with someone the taurus would rather switch places with someone in a home, in a job, in an office setting, someone would rather, in a relationship setting, someone would rather switch places with someone somewhere. That they, They're they trying to talk to you. The Taurus is trying to talk to you. The Virgo is trying to talk to you about switching places so that they can, this is like switching like, um, what do you call it? Like you, this is like, like a, in a workplace where someone, like people are lawyers or whoever, people have assistants, but they don't, they don't want their assistants anymore for some reason, or or people want to be some, or a particular person wants to be a Capricorn energy. So to, when 
when I when I say Capricorn energies, I bet say assistant. When I hit Taurus, a Taurus wants to be a Capricorn energies assistant. You use your intuition that a Taurus wants to be a Capricorn energies assistant or their their man, their woman, whatever they want to be near them. Period. And that's what's annoying the Virgo, but trying to safeguard their spot. So the Virgo may be trying to safeguard their spot somewhere. Mm, that's what you're talking to King Wands energy about. Mm, but it's chaotic because of multiple of earth signs needs, period. Not so much to Capricorns. The Capricorn energies may not really have that much of a need as much as the Taurus and the Virgo elements do, but that's what you're using your intuition about. Mm. So this could be a situation here. You, you work really close by a Taurus, but, but they want to switch out with you. So you work really close by a Taurus, but they that they want to switch out with you. Like they want to change rooms. They want to change offices. They, they want to be closer to someone else. Virgo observes that. That's what's annoying the Virgo, or that could be what a Virgo wants instead. It just depends on what's going on. But you deem the Virgo energies with S to be annoying for some reason. Mm. Wow. Switching rooms, switching offices, switching lovers. Use your intuition. Of, that's what a Taurus wants. So when I hit lovers, that's what a Taurus wants. Mm. That's what a Taurus wants. Can wants energy can be a father or whatever. Somebody's dad, somebody's brother that, that is intervening. Somebody's brother that is intervening here. Uh, somebody's brother is trying to intervene, switching lovers, switching partners, not wanting to get married anymore, whatever, Taurus doesn't. When I said when I said not wanting to get married anymore, using intuition that a Taurus doesn't, mm, using intuition that a Taurus doesn't want, this could be a situation here where a Taurus, a Taurus element could be engaged. A Taurus element is engaged or this they already have a boyfriend or a girlfriend already but wants to be with Capricorn. So they already have a boyfriend or a girlfriend already, but they 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 they, all, they already have a boyfriend or girlfriend, but they want to be with a Capricorn. And you use your intuition that they're trying to be closer to a Capricorn. And like, what are you doing? So you, you use your you, you feel like you need to pull a Taurus aside to talk to them or something. You feel like you need to pull them aside to talk to them. You know, bro, sis, what are you doing? Are, are you looking outside of your partnership? Is your man, your woman, are they gonna find out? You, that's what you're trying to do. Hmm. Wow, this could be like a friend and group situation. You're trying to get, you're trying to get a, an objective on how to be with certain people in a friend group, and people are looking outside of partnerships, trying to be closer, switching partners, sharing partners. But that's what I'm trying to do. So when it's sharing partners, that's what you're trying to do with people. That's what you're trying to do, sharing partners in the workplace. You're trying to, you. This is like you're trying to have, you're trying to have more than one like responsibility in the workplace, but Taurus doesn't want you to do that. So you, you're trying to have or find a way to be, to have more than one responsibility in home, trying to ha have more than one responsibility in a friend group, trying to have more re one responsibility in the workplace, but a Taurus may not want you to do that because because they, they deem you, to, they, whatever it is that you're trying to do, it, you're, you're tr you, they deem you to be blocking something. They deem you to be blocking the view that you have of someone that they want to be with or something. And that's what's annoying the Virgo for some reason, but it's annoying the Virgo because the Virgo wants that attention. Uh, wow. They want that attention or they feel they, they want that separation. They complain to you about that separation because of, of what a Taurus wants or the switching places with a Taurus, whatever situation is there. Or the Taurus is really tied to someone and two of swords and the moon card is like, you're trying to, the Taurus is really tied to someone and they're trying to be closer to someone. They already have, they already have an assistant. They already work in the office and they're trying to move their space. They're trying to go to a different floor so they can be closer to someone and the Virgo observes that and that's what's annoying the Virgo. Mm. But how did I get in the middle of this? So the Taurus Swords in the instance of how did I get in the middle of this situation? You don't even understand how you got in the middle of this situation. Mm. This could be, you may be a very giving person or very open person or at the whim. So you're a very open and giving person at the whim of people's needs or something. But a Virgo's needs, Taurus needs, Capricorn energies needs, Earth sign energy needs with the moon card right next to the three of pentacles energy. Mm. But you, you, you're trying to help out King of Wands energy at the same time. You may be trying to help them out at the same time. You just you just need them to help you manage or get a better objective. You just need them to help you manage something in the workplace, in the home, in the family, in the friend group, whatever it is. Trying to get a, a opposition as well. So they may be they may see something to, that you're trying to do or something that you're talking to them about. They may they may deem it as an obstacle or something that's opposition like with something you have going on here because of a Taurus. So something is opposition like because of something that you have going on with a Taurus here. Okay, or Virgo, whatever, or but the Capricorn energies are on the outside looking in. The Capricorn energies are on the outside looking into something is chaotic in the workplace, in a home, in a friend group. Something is chaotic, but it's because people are trying to get to them, Virgo and Taurus, because the Virgo and Taurus are trying to get to them, be away from them, or trying to get to them. Taurus trying to be with them, you're trying to be with them. You don't want the Taurus to do that. Virgo doesn't want the Taurus to do that. 
Virgo wants the Taurus his attention, whatever the situation is there in the workplace, in a friend group, whatever the setting is. Wow. Spiritual self has the King of Cups energy. So it could be a Pisces right next to the King of Wands, but I need their help. So it could be a Pisces right next right next to the King of Wands energy. You need their help. Whatever water sign. It could be I, I'm saying Pisces because the moon card energy is there right next to the King of Wands energy. But how can they help? So King of Wands and your spiritual self is how can the Pisces help? Whatever water sign male. How can the water sign male help? Or it's in your spiritual self that nurturing quality. So you may have a very nurturing quality. Hmm, but annoying, someone is annoying about that to a Taurus. So the fact that you have a nurturing quality, it, it's annoying a Taurus. Hmm, but I also get a Sagittarian male. So the fact that you have a nurturing quality is annoying a Sagittarian male. <laughs> it's annoying a Sagittarian male. It's also annoying a Taurus. It's also annoying a Taurus for some reason. Hmm, but they want that kind of personality that you have. So the, they want that kind of personality that you have for some reason. Hmm, but I also get another Capricorn. So a Capricorn male. It could be a Capricorn male that they, they Taurus wants something that um, they want to embody something that a Capricorn and a male has for some reason. Or that's what a King of Cups energy is talking to you about. Or you're embodying King of Cups energy because you're nurturing. So you embody this because you're nurturing or you balance out the group or that's why I said people to a source is that people kind of see you a mediator people may deem you to be a mediator or that's how King one seems you to be a mediator for a situation mm. wow mm. that's good if this can wants energy in the spiritual self right next to the can wants, or you just you just need their help to manage something. So you just need the king of cups and the can wants energy help to manage something, but to keep Taurus under control. So you need the can wants and the and the king of cups energy to keep the Taurus and to keep Taurus elements under control for some reason. That something's going on with them. Okay, the mentality has your energy, son of Aquarius. You could be dealing with another Aquarian with, with in your mentality with the two of swords, or or you don't you don't know what to do about another Aquarian. But should I call? So two of swords with the Aquarian energy and the mentality in instance, should I call another Aquarian? A Taurus thinks you should or you should not do that. So just at the wrong or right time. So you you may be doing that at the wrong wrong time, right time. You you need to call another Aquarian for some reason. You feel like you need to call another Aquarian. But where is Libra? So you. You feel like you need to call the Aquarian energy because you, you need to you need to find a Libra. You need to find a Libra for some reason. Hmm. But why wasn't I invited? So when I said need to find a Libra, there's a why wasn't I invited? Why wasn't I invited? So you using using your intuition. The three of pentacles right next to the moon card is is club, a, a party of some kind, an outing of some kind that co-workers went on, whatever it is that you you were or you were not invited to, or you're finding out at the last minute that somebody went out. But Taurus was responsible for telling you that. So a Taurus may have been may have a Taurus may have been responsible. For, they may be the one that's supposed to tell you that. Make sure that they tell you that there's going to be a workplace party. Make sure that they tell you. I, I keep getting club. Make sure that they tell you that there's going to be a club outing of some kind. Or, or you feel, or uh, you feel, I distribute as well. So with the, with the, with this energy, this is your energy, yes, or that of another Aquarian energy. Something's going on here with distributing something distributing something with the two of swords, but Virgo acts. So a, a Virgo energy, the, the moon card right next to the three of pentacles, a Virgo asks you to, to, to distribute something. Oh, I see what's going on here. This could be an invitation of some kind of not invited or another Aquarian energy wasn't invited or what's some element over here? Someone was not invited to something or you think someone wasn't invited to something, whatever it is, but Taurus feels extracted. So when I said that a Taurus feels extracted, this could be, this could be this, this, this could be a situation here where like something you, you may have been asked to give, give out invitations for something or invite certain people somewhere, but Taurus extracted. So when I say invite certain people somewhere, Taurus feels extracted, whatever earth sign energies, but as they feel extracted for some reason you think that the earth sign energies feel extracted that's why the moon card is right next to the three of pentacles mm. but a virgo has information on that or a virgo a virgo asks you a virgo asks you to pass out to give out things or to give out information <laughs> to, to send out something invitations whatever it is like a virgo a virgo may have asked you to do that mm. You weren't invited, or or they or you are invited, or something's going on with inviting an external Aquarian energy, or or a Libra didn't invite an external Aquarian. A Libra did not invite, or a Libra is responsible for inviting certain people, and a Virgo has information on that or something. With the two of swords energy being in the instincts, so this could be like a workplace, something really secretive going on in the workplace. 
You know what I mean? If it's not a, if it's not invitation inviting, then it's just then it's just people then it's just people making drastic changes in the workplace. There's that. You know, I get because of a Virgo. So it's just people making drastic changes in the workplace because of a Virgo. That's why the intuition is right next to the three of pentacles. You know, that's why the, that's why your energy is here with the two of swords in the mentality. Mm. But I feel responsible. So your energy in the mentality with the two of swords is that you feel responsible. You feel re responsible for something, mm, but Taurus needs. So you feel responsible for a Taurus needs. This could be, oh, I see what's going on here. This could be a situation here where like the reason to why someone's getting chaotic is, for example, I'll give you a good example is someone's going, okay, well, the Taurus element is that they 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 want to be closer to someone. So they want, but they don't want Virgo. So the Taurus wants to be closer to some another external earth sign. The Taurus wants to be closer to the Capricorn energies, but they don't want a Virgo energy to be so they don't want a bro to come to a club. They don't want a bro to come to some type of party, office party. They, they, whatever the setting is, that they don't want a Virgo energy to be there. And a Virgo energy man overheard that. Use your intuition that a Virgo overheard that conversation, but just want Capricorn. So a Virgo overheard that a Virgo energy overheard that a Taurus and you or whoever they, they just want the Capricorns. And they don't want the Virgo energy. That's why she's acting out. So they, the the Virgo energy overheard that conversation. He or she whatever they, they overheard that they don't want them to live somewhere they don't want them to work somewhere they don't whatever it is they don't want the virgo energy to be or a, whatever it is with the virgo they don't want them somewhere so that's what I get angst they, they they get something going with them with angst and 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 whatever it is and pettiness so they, they're overhearing that conversation so that's why they're acting out in the way that they are in the workplace in a home setting whatever it is that's why they're acting out Mm, they didn't get invited to something or or no, or somebody didn't want them to be somewhere, whatever the setting, whatever the issue is. Mm, that's why I said Taurus trying to figure out ways to be closer or or they or the, the Virgo notices how a Taurus, uh, the Virgo notices how a Taurus operates with a Capricorn energy. And that's what that could be what they overheard. And that could be why that's why they're going crazy. <laughs> that could be why the Virgo energy is going crazy. Hmm. Or so they're starting to act really interestingly in the workplace, in a home, or in a friend group. They're starting to act really interestingly. Hmm. Wow. What's changing is the Six of Swords energy is what's changing here. Hmm. But I'm certain about something that's changing. So in a workplace, in a friend group, you're really certain about something that's changing for some reason. Hmm. By helping Taurus. So you're really certain about some, you, you may think, you may think that something that a Taurus needs or a Taurus wants, or what you may think that something they want or need, it may, it may, may help something, you know, hmm. you, you may think that it may help manage something that could, that could be what the King of Cups to the King of Wands energy said, or that could be what you converse with those energies about. Will the Six of Swords energy be for what's changing? But changing Taurus position. So the Six of Swords is changing a Taurus position using the intuition that you're going to need to change a Taurus position. Mm, because because the door, the Virgo doesn't want them looking at the Capricorn. The Virgo doesn't want that the disruptive. A Virgo may deem it to be disruptive for some reason. A Virgo may deem the Taurus to be disruptive or Capricorn. Something is disruptive or whatever it is. They, they deem something or someone to be disruptive. Mm, or whatever, or organized, or not organized, or 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 something, or or the Virgo is annoyed because the Taurus keeps looking at the Capricorn. So you're, you're trying to figure out a way to accommodate the Taurus, or to change the Taurus job, or to switch the Taurus with someone else, or to switch out the Taurus with one of these elements here. So changing offices. So you're trying to switch out and change offices with someone for some reason. Hmm. This could be a situation here. I mean, you you do work with earth signs, but you you just use your intuition that you switch something with them. You use your intuition that you just need to switch something with them. Switch something with them. Whatever it is, you need to change a desk. You need to change something isn't operating properly. You need to switch out two people to move someone else in. But it's something is also petty because because people like each other. That's the only reason Virgo observes that. So people like each other. Virgo observes that, but they're not getting the attention. So that's what's annoying them. And you deem it to be petty, whatever it is, or you yourself are getting the attention from earth, external earth sign energies, and that may be what's annoying the Virgo, or that's what you're talking to. A Virgo about, or that's what a Taurus is talking to you about, about Virgo and Capricorn energies and, and switching classes and desks and whatever offices and things of that nature and partners and whatever it is, annoying Virgo. So when I hit partners, it's annoying a Virgo. Mm. It's annoying business partners, whatever it is, it's annoying someone for some reason. Huh. 
So you're just trying, you're, tr you're trying to accommodate people to the best of your ability and then extract yourself. So you're trying to accommodate people to the best of your ability and then extract yourself. The, the Ace of Wands energy is in the resolution going towards the Leo, the, the Ace of Wands, but I need them. So you really do need the Leo. You just need a strength card to deal with a workplace, a friend group, whatever, business partners. This could be crazy that's going on with business partners in the workplace, mm. but really petty. So when I say Ace, Ace of Wands going towards a strength card is that business partners are really petty. <laughs> you have really petty business partners, Virgo. You have, Capricorn energy is okay, but in the middle of it. The Capricorn energies are in the middle of it, but it has something to do with a Taurus needs, Virgo needs. Another Aquarian, another Aquarian trying to find you yourself, you're trying to find Libra. Libra is responsible for orchestrating something, whatever. King of Cups energy, trying to find Pisces, trying to find Sagittarian, and Sagittarian is annoyed for whatever reason, or you're trying to look for Leo elements, whatever, you're trying to look for these dudes, but they're responsible. So why is that trying to look for these dudes? They're responsible for something, or the, for the reason why something is the way that it is. They're responsible for it, but why Virgo's acting out? So those of uh, these two energies here, the King of Cups and King of Wands, they're responsible for why a Virgo is acting out. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, they're responsible for why Virgos are Virgo elements are acting out. Mm. But I'll, you're also trying to help the Taurus at the same time. But you also want to be near the Taurus, but they don't want to work with you next to you or near you anymore, or they want to be with someone else, or that's what you're using. That's what you're using intuition about in a workplace, in a partnership, in a in a in a friend group setting, whatever the setting is. Okay, workplace feels like crazy. Workplace feels like people are trying to be closer to certain people because they like them, or or whatever it is, or Virgos overhearing secretive conversations that are annoyed, or they want certain people. They want this. This this is like. There's like two offices or two cubicles where like there's like a Virgo sits in one and a Capricorn sits in the other. So you you could be you could be at another cubicle somewhere, but you walk by and you notice that the Capricorn energy has like uh what do you call the like Taurus and whoever the Capricorn energy has people coming in and popping in and looking at, at them all the time or visiting them all the time, whatever it's at their cubicle, at their desk, in their office, at the, whatever annoying Virgo, but it's annoying a Virgo for some reason. So you're trying to figure out a way you're talking to king of wands and king of cups energy uh, how to alleviate an issue so you're talking to king of wands and the king of cups energy on how to alleviate an issue how to alleviate the issue in the workplace in the friend group whatever it is whatever it could be whatever the setting is it could be a friend group situation where there's girls that they're annoyed with their man looking at their they're annoyed with their men looking at their friend or some foolishness like that you know someone just really good looking in the workplace and they can't help it Whatever, but it's driving somebody crazy for some reason, okay? But you're in the middle of it. Capricorn energy's in the middle of it. KM wants energy doesn't know what's going on or they don't understand. Taurus needs. So the Taurus wants to be closer to someone. Virgo doesn't want that. Virgo overheard that they're not invited to something and they just want Capricorn energies. And it's really, it's starting to aggravate someone. It's starting to act out really interestingly, okay? Are you acting out interestingly? Because of a workplace. You may be acting out interestingly because of a workplace, but the only reason for that is because of the earth sign energy needs. Or sign needs, you're trying to get K and ones, you're trying to get Leo and Aries and, and K of Cups energy help, but they don't want to help. So those elements don't want to help with something. They really don't want to help with something. But it has something to do with the fact that someone likes someone or or certain people like someone somewhere and it's, it's driving Virgo crazy. So certain people like someone somewhere, but it's driving a Virgo crazy, whoever uh, may be driving you crazy. Or you like someone and you're trying to figure out ways. You may like someone in the workplace and you're trying to you're trying to figure out a way to get your job switched or or position switched out with someone. That's what a Virgo is trying to do. So when I said get position switched out with someone, that's what a Virgo is trying to do. That's what a Virgo is trying to do. Mm. But someone may not want the Virgo to do that. Mm. You know? All right, let's see what the outcome is here. Home setting, workplace setting, feels very work and office and business partners, stuff and craziness with petty business partners and moves that petty business partners are trying to make. All right, let's see what the outcome is here, Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles. This does have to do with a new job. You know, it doesn't have to do with a new job setting or people in a new job. Nine of Pentacles energy here. And I'm trying to do the best that I can. So the Nine of Pentacles is trying to do the best that you can. You know, you're trying to do the best that you can with the earth signs or whatever it is. You're trying to do the best you can to make money. But something is interesting. Trying to do the best you can to make money or get funding or whatever it is. 
Mm. But Virgo keeps complaining. So why does it make money and, and funding and things of that nature? Virgo keeps complaining to you. They keep complaining to you, whatever. But you need to find it. You may deem it. Six of Swords is that you may you may be successful in finding a Libra for some reason. I did say you're trying to look for a Libra. You're trying to find a Libra because you, you may feel like the Libra may help. It's not two of Swords and instincts, you know? Finding a Libra. Getting a Libra to be somewhere, but Taurus doesn't want that. So getting a Libra to be somewhere, a Taurus doesn't want that because a Taurus, whatever. What is, whatever interesting is going on with the Taurus. All right? All right, Aquarius, let me know how it resonates. Be well. Take care. Bye.